project, project, this ain't what you want, this ain't what you want. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Sosa here, and I'm back with another banger for y'all today. Today, I got y'all with the, my most requested video, my advanced dribble tutorial. And in this video, I put in my six, my badges, ways to remove delay. And I got y'all with combo tutorials as well. Like I got some little presets for y'all. So if you wanna like, trust me, you watch this video to the end and you already watched the beginner one that I linked right now in the right corner. If you haven't watched the beginner, go ahead and watch that first and then come back to this one. Cause you're gonna need the beginner for this one. Once you watch the beginner and you came over to this, you watch this to the end and you really like learned this, bro, you will be moving, I promise you. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate if y'all could drop a sub for me. We almost had 6k subs which is crazy compared to me only doing this for i don't even know like a couple months i'm so thankful for all of y'all i appreciate everybody who subbed to me and show love and comment like it just mean a lot for me i'm trying to hit 10k by the end of the month so and, like you know what i'm saying any, any support counts bro any support counts bro so without you know i, I ain't like to keep y'all holding so let's get straight into it first thing y'all want to do is come in here to the my cord before we get in, let me show you the badges and shit real quick. For my badges, I know I got 38 playmaking. If you want to get 38 playmaking, you got to make my building do exactly what I did in this video. That's linked right now to the top right corner. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So we got angle breaker on gold, clamp breaker on gold, handle for days on gold. Quick first step on Hall of Fame, special delivery on bronze, hopper drive on Hall of Fame, bailout on bronze, killer combos on gold, and unpluggable on Hall of Fame. Let me explain the meaning why I got these badges on so y'all can understand them a little bit more. So the reason I'm using these badges, angle breaker is just because I got so many playmaking badges. Like I just got extra. And I don't know, I got play takes, so I like dropping people. Get some good animation if you get angle breaker on something. Clamp breaker, put this on gold because it just helps you drop by the defender. I think I don't know, you don't really get bummed as much with it on. I think that's the point of it. Handle for days, you need this so you don't run out of stamp because this year the stamp is just crazy. Quick first step, you need this to get that quick arm. Um, what's it called? Your speed boost becomes faster with the quick first step. Bailout, you need this on bronze, just on bronze, you don't need anything else. Uh, hopper drive, this reduces delay and it just helps you chain up your combos faster and come up the court faster hyper drive is a must need badge this year special delivery you don't need this again i just got extra badges and i like throwing flashy passes killer combos this helps you chain your, your combos together and it's just gonna make it less delayed as well like and you're gonna stun stun your defender too like he gonna stand still freeze for a second just like tight handles in 22 so killer combos on the max you can get it Unpluggable, you want to get this on the max as well. If you can only get gold, that's cool, but don't go under gold. Like, you just get plucked so much in stage. Alright, so that's it for my badges. So let me show y'all my six. I got Michael Jordan dribble style. I got signature size of Steve Francis. I got size sub escape pack is Trey Young. I got moving cross with Russell Westbrook. I got moving behind the back, Damian Lillard. Moving spins basic. Moving hesitation, Zach Levine. Moving step back, normal. Triple threat, that don't matter. Over at my dunks, we got LeBron James. We got Russell Westbrook. We got quick drops off one. We got side clutches off one. Straight arm tomahawks. Cock back tomahawks. And leaning slams. And then you want to put on the hop jumper, Kyle Lowry. And you want to put on the spin jumper, Allen Iverson. And the dribble pull up, Trey Young. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's that's about it. Let's go over and show my settings real quick. Wait, it's controller settings, right? Pro stick function, you gotta have this on default. And pro stick orientation, you wanna have this on absolute. Uh, but not really anything else you need from in here. Nice, so um, let's get straight into the video. Before we get into the video, I just wanna inform y'all if my energy isn't the best, or like I just sound tired, it's cause I'm super sick right now. Like I have a 39 in fever, like. I'm just tired like, but I'm doing this video for y'all so let's get straight into it. Bear with me though. 
I don't want to hear nothing about what is this energy like. I'm t I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm still doing this to get the video out for y'all. So I'll see y'all at the end of the video. Alright, so the first move I'm going to be showing y'all today is going to be the momentum. The momentum, you basically you hold turbo, right? You see the blue one I'm tapping right now? You flick your right stick up. You see why it's getting flicked up right now? And you take your left stick and you follow to the opposite ball handle diagonal up. So let's say the ball in your left hand, left stick goes this way. Ball is in your right hand, left stick goes this way. Make sense? You just turbo, flick up. And then follow through with the left stick to the opposite ball handle. You see that right there? Basically, like you do this in a slow pace, and then you just start getting faster with it, and then you can spam it like that. And she start guarding you. You see? Next move I'm gonna show y'all is called between the legs. It's like this. way you do this you hold turbo you flick your right stick up just like a momentum but instead of taking the left stick diagonal up like this like you hold turbo flick your right stick up and then you like kind of flick it not all the way to the side but not diagonal up so like in between so right here do y'all see that so let's say the ball is in your left hand or the right hand you go there the ball is in the left hand you go there so you get this move right here Once you get this move, that means you're doing it right and you can start getting faster with it. After you learn how to do that, you want to just start spamming it. Again, it's just about muscle memory. It's just about getting the timing done. Once you get them down one by one, you can just keep going faster and faster. At the end, you should be able to do it just like this. Alright, so now we want to put them together. So we do the momentum between the leg. 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 I'm not going to tell you how to do it again because I just told you you can just scroll back in the video. But if you can do the momentum spam, you can do the between the leg spam. But if you learn how to do the momentum like I just told you before, you learn how to do the between the legs. Hold on, I fucked up. You learn how to do the between the legs like that. It's not gonna be a problem because you just wanna put them together. So you do the momentum, you hold the. Let's say the ball in your right hand. Hold turbo, right stick up, left stick to the opposite ball handle diagonal up, right? And then once you do this, still hold turbo, right stick up, left stick goes in like this instead. So it's like boom, 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 boom. See what I'm saying? So you go diagonal up, kind of sideways. Diagonal up, almost sideways. It's not fully sideways, but it's a little bit over. Then we got the Trey Young XT Francis spam. So it's like this, right? The way you do this is you do a tray on crab, which is you hold turbo and you flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Pay attention to controller cam, you see that? The way you do the Steve Francis is the same, but you just don't hold turbo. So you just flick your right stick to the opposite ball handle. Right? And you just put them together. So you do a tray on Steve Francis. Tray on Steve Francis. Trey Young, Steve Francis. You just want to keep getting a little faster, a little faster. And at the end, it's just going to look like this. Then 
we got the Steve Francis spam, and this is probably one of the best moves in the game. So glitchy, so fast. Is I set the ball to my left hand, right? I flick the right stick up to get the Trey Young, right? Then I hold this stick down, like hold it down the whole time. And while I hold it down, I flick the stick to the opposite. So it's like that, right? You see that right there? And then actually, I don't know how it works, but you can just keep spamming this stick to the right side, like this, after you do it. So, ball is in my left hand, I go to the right, and then, you see how I'm just holding down and flicking the right stick to the side. Y'all see that? literally just flicking it to, the, to one side bro flicking to the left that's the easiest way to do it I, I didn't like doing it the other way I almost gave up on the move and then I found out you can do it like this so I feel like a lot of people this is gonna help y'all then we got the tween the leg spam right which is the same thing almost instead of going diagonal up you go tween the legs like this right do the same thing as with the spam you see like you can spam between the legs too it's the same thing you just flick it to the side instead of diagonal up exact like same thing it's so glitchy for the combos like you need these these two moves i just showed you between the leg spam and the steve francis spam so the next move i'm gonna be showing y'all how to do is gonna be the social slide didn't already guess it yes I am the founder of this move so I will be showing you how to do my move because this is so glitchy y'all see that it's, it's a left stick glitch bro look it's not a real move you glitch it with the left stick and it does some kind of turbo shit out of it the way you do this is you hold your left stick down right to you start moving like one step backwards and you just tap turbo see you hold it down you start moving backwards and you just tap turbo so simple it might be a little hard to get used to the timing but i promise you once you get it down it's gonna be worth it because this move is just good and you can put it into combos like the way you do the one backwards is instead of holding it down you hold it diagonal down to the, to the same ball handle so the ball in your right hand hold it hold the diagonal down right ball is in your left hand hold the diagonal down left so i'm gonna like this go to the right look like that thing about the social slide is you can also do it backwards so like that right the best ways to use the two social slides I'd say is this one is for fading right because they're not gonna be the AI is of course gonna catch up to it, right but this is such a weird move so they're not gonna it's gonna catch them off guard and you're gonna have an open fade with it and if you want to do the one where you go backwards you just want to combo up boom boom hit it shoot feel me because it's gonna give you that quick separation catch all with this little move if you don't know how to do this, go over to my um, beginner dribble tutorial again. This move will be over here. I can quickly try to explain it. You hold turbo, ball is in your left hand, flick right stick, diagonal down right, left stick, diagonal down left. If the ball is in your left hand, you'll get this. If the ball is in your right hand, you do the same, but you flick them inside instead. So, right stick goes in like this, and left stick goes in like this. Always the right stick first. And you can just spam it, you see? Slow the controller down for y'all real quick. Basically, all you do is you do a misdirection minor back and you just hold. You see the one that's blinking right now? Hold this one down after you do it. So you do it, hold it down. It's gonna start spinning. I don't know why we start spinning after doing it, but you just do. It's a funny move though. Like, if I'm trolling, Doing some combo, I would like to put it in there. You know what? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna quickly go through some moves like this. Snatch back, simple. You hold turbo, you flick your right stick up and your left stick down. Just a spin right here. We all know about that, right? All you do, you run up the court, ball is in your left hand, you flick your right stick from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So 
let's say I'm running up with the left ball in my left hand, right stick, 6 or 12, 6 or 12, right? The, the other way around, it's the same, but from, I'm gonna flick it from 6, wait, it's 6 or 12 again, but it's just the other way like this, right? So you're coming up here, boom. Then we got the steady slide, which is that. Basically, you just flick the ball in between your legs. Like flick the right stick just to the side of the opposite ball handle. So balls in your right hand, you flick it to the left. Balls in your left hand, you flick it to the right. And then hold turbo and run backwards. Then there is, let's say, let's say you're running this way, right? Come up to court go like this this little half spin right here I like putting it into my combos I think it look nice this is do a steady slide first and then do it after because he's gonna turn around and then it's just gonna look better because you're doing a mid combo or something let's say you're comboing up bow, bow, bow. feel me the way you do this is do the steady slide and then you're running backwards you just want to let go of everything and then flick your right stick from 12 up to 6 to 12 again see let's say ball is in your left hand then you can do it like this see you can also do it the other way so let's see you come on up boom boom, boom. And then you can add, let's say you do this one, right? You can add a spin into it at the end. So you do a steady slide, spin, spin. And then tap uh, L2 when you come out here. So you do every all the three spins I just showed you and you tap L2 after. So you do the steady slide first, turn around, so it's facing backwards. Do the half spin, another spin. And you tap turbo. Not turbo, uh, L2. Next thing I'm gonna quickly show y'all is the slide. You just run and you tap uh, L2. I don't even feel like I need another explanation for this, do I? You can shoot off this, you can speed boost off it, you can change direction with it. Let's say you're running up here, boom, behind the back. Boom, speed boost. Boom, keep going the same way. You feel me? Like, I like to add this one into a momentum. Let's say I'm dribbling, doing a momentum. Boom. See that? Boom. Boom. Like that. It just look. I feel like I should explain it real quick. All you do is do a momentum and you run to the side. You see how I keep holding the stick to the opposite ball handle? Just want to run to the side with it. And you tap uh, L2. So that's a Steve Francis spam like this. You can also do the second one. It's not as fast, but it's just fun to put into combos. Right stick up, left stick up. So it's like a Steve Francis into a left stick move. You see that? And uh, now I'm gonna show the left right cancel. So you know how people, they left right like this, right? But if you do it like this, you're gonna end up using your bars. Like left right without really using your bars. You can accidentally use them, but normally it don't happen. It's like a left left right cancel type shit. You see how I canceled them animation? The way you do this is just do it really fast. Let me show you how to do this people's real quick even though I wasn't gonna do it because it's in the beginner dribble tutorial but you were here already so I might as well just show you. you. Flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle like this so you get the you remember that one right and then the moment you do it you tap turbo and you run to to the side you want to go to. See? So you flick it up turbo run to the side you want to go to. Flick it up, turbo, and run to the side you want to go to. And if you if you just do it like 
don't really like I don't know how to explain wait let me live thing how do I explain this instead of keep running right you just wanna go like this you don't like you don't wanna actually make him run you just wanna make it look like he's running so you don't instead of holding the left stick just hold it for like a second or something maybe a half half a second and then you just keep spamming it back and forth like this but you can do the left right cancel out of basically any move that you go with a speed boost let's say do a snatch back right run boom 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 that shit catches him off guard so hard i promise you because once you start doing this you can start doing that too because they're gonna be thinking like this way boom boom and you can also boom boom feel me you can also do it out of the fake peak you know this one right here See that right there? All I do is I run to the side, I stand still, hold turbo, run to the side. And then let go of the stick, hold it again. Just hold turbo the whole time. Boom, boom, boom. You can do it like that, you feel me? So I can fake it, let's say I'm, I'm going like this. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna do it like two times. She's clamping my shit up. Oh, 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 boom. Boom. It's just it's unguardable. Cause you gotta keep them guessing the whole time. That's why the left right cancel is so good. And you sometimes you use a bar, but most likely you will not use a bar. And the left right cancel right here, that's the same way you peak this year. Cause instead of running all the way, just hold it for one second and it's gonna stop up and you just shoot it. So let's say you combo now, boom, 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 boom. See that right there? See, just want to shoot it straight after doing the speed boost. Like, you run to the left, let go of everything to shoot. Yo, excuse me if I mess up a little bit, but bro, when I gotta use this controller cam, right? I gotta plug my controller into the PC and it gives me so much delay. So it feels so weird dribbling right now. Show y'all is this no left right spam kind of thing i don't know how to it's so glitchy though because it's so fast and you change direction like instant you saw that combo now boom like look at that bro it's so fast bro it's gonna catch so many lugs off guard it's so op bro I, I, all of y'all need this bro and it's so simple to do. It's so simple to do and it's so broken. Alright, so the way you do this is you do any type of Steve Francis beat boost. Beat this one. And then all you do when you're running up the court. This is, let's say you're running up the court, right? Do a Steve Francis beat boost coming up here. You want to hold the left stick up, right? As, let's say you go like this, right? You see how I flick the right stick over here while I still hold hold it like this? Then I flick the right stick, and then the moment I flick the right stick and I see he changed hands, that's where I want to turn the left stick and run to this this way. So I'm running up. Wait, you gotta do it just directly after. See that? I don't let go of turbo at any time. Flick the right stick, running up, flick the right stick to the diagonal side, and now follow through with the left. See that? Same if you go over here, just do it the other way. Say it one more time. You do a speed boost, and you want to keep doing the speed boost, flick the right stick, diagonal up to the opposite ball handle, and then you follow through with the left. If you don't get the right animation. But trust me, you need this in your bag, like, this is so broken. I'm gonna talk about this speed boost right here. The way you do this is you do a Trey Young, you do a Steve Francis speed boost. Trey Young crap, Steve Francis crap, but you just wanna keep running with the Steve Francis crap after. So, boom, 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 boom. 
not gonna explain how you do the two crabs because I already explained that like so many times in three different video videos earlier in this video as well so scroll back if you don't know how to do it but that's how you can do a little fake hissy like that so speed boost out of the tween spam between the leg you want to call it so you remember that one right do that speed boost do that speed boost do that speed boost this is this is gonna catch to catch him off and it's slept on i don't see nobody doing it between the legs speed boost wait see again like i'm gonna just show real quick every move that i show you you can speed boost out of it like this like a little hissy out of everything bro it's just good so you don't just do these so not just all look the same right you want to mix it up it's gonna be good for your combos too because then when you comboing up they're not just gonna be able to look for a momentum in people's right they're gonna have to look for a bunch more like this boom or this boom this boom like that you're gonna keep them guessing see this right here it's good if you want to crap someone if you run into the paint like this I promise you it's a free bucket almost every time because either lockdown jump is someone's supposed to pick up if they pick up you pass it if they don't pick up you gotta walk open three I hate this move but it's super effective it's, it's, it's not really that skillful but you know what I'm saying it's effective it's like the walk back those two moves, I hate these moves so much. Cause you can just, cause everybody is worried about the two, right? You just fake it, fake room run, boom, boom. I don't like these two moves. I don't like the little go into the paint, go out again. I don't like that. But you can also do these out of the momentum. So the same momentum, boom. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Do a momentum, do a Steve Francis. Do a momentum, do a Steve Francis. See? Just wanna do it fast. This is good, let's say you comboing up. You wanna get quick speed boost out of it. See like that? Momentum, boom. And also, momentum, boom, boom, boom. Feel me? The way you do the S to slide is you run up the court, hold the turbo, and flick down on your right stick. I think you can do it without holding turbo too. Turbo is gonna look better because you're sprinting, right? I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but I want to try and show how to like how the crab works. But it's so hard to crab an AI. Oh, there you go. See, like you want to get in like front of them and just shoot it. Then we have the hot jumper that I showed you, which is this one. You see how much separation that one creates? You're gonna get the fastest animation if you go to the Let's say your player is right-handed, you want to go to the left, you get the fast animation. Player is left-handed, go to the right, get the fast animation. This is just, it's just a broken step back. And the way you activate this one is like, you run to the side, right? Run into the paint, and you hold it diagonal down to the, like, let's say you want to go left, you want to hold it diagonal down left while holding turbo. Then we got the um, Chapman slide. I promise you this is so OP. It's this move right here. You do an S slide in the paint and you just teleport out with the Kyle Lowry hot jumper. So the way you do it is you run in, flick down your right stick to activate the S slide and then you hold your right stick diagonal down to the same like to the same side as the ball is in. So you go in, boom, boom. You gotta hold turbo again. So it's basically all you do, right? You do this one that I just told you before. Wait, the wrong. You do that one, and up you do a S a slide, hold it down. S a slide, hold it down. S a slide, hold it down. Feel me? And then all of this, like let's say, you fry him. You're gonna shoot it, right? Or you can do it like this. 
do it. They catching up to you when you cooking like that. Feel me? Like. Then we got the Ellen Iverson spin jumper. That one right there. This is so OP too, bro. Cause it just I don't know. The AI can guard it, but normal player, like, I just gonna catch him off guard because you're faking the rim run, right? You're making it look like you go into the paint like this, and you just go back like that. It's OP, I promise you. The way you do this is you run in and you double tap square, like tap square once and then hold it. Run in, tap square, hold it. You can also do it from the other side, but it's gonna give you an other animation. Still good though, but the other one is better. So let's say if you're a right hander, you wanna be doing it from the left side. If you're left hander, you wanna do it from the right side. I feel like I got all the basics down. I don't think I'm, I, I missed anything, did I? I feel like we can move on to the combos now, right? The combo tutorial. Like how you wanna chain your moves together like this. Alright, I'm going to give you some good starter combos to do. The first one I would say is going to be Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Right? I already taught you how to do these moves. If you don't remember, you got to go back in the video. I can't say it again. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. See that right there? Next combo I'm going to be showing y'all is the Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum. Makes sense? So when you put them together, it's going to be Steve Francis, wait. Remember the ones I taught you in the beginning? Like, what was it again? It was between the legs. Momentum, momentum between the legs. Just want to add them in there too. So get good at doing these, like these ones I just showed you, like that one. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum. Right? And you want to get good at doing the momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. You can also momentum, Trey Young. You want to learn how to do momentum into a misdirection behind the back. Next one is momentum, Steve Francis, misdirection behind the back. So you do a momentum, Steve Francis, misdirection behind the back, right? Like that, right? And you want to do a momentum into the normal misdirection, like that. Alright, so the next one is Momentum, Steve Francis, Misdirection. So it's like that, right? Ooh, uh, Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, behind the back. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, behind the back. And you can do Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, Misdirection from the front. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, Misdirection from the front. You can do Misdirection from the front, Misdirection from the back. And so this next one is going to be Steve Francis, Misdirection from the front, Steve Francis, Momentum. Steve Francis, Misdirection from the front, Steve Francis, Momentum.
can also use this move for a bunch of stuff like social slide you can use it as speed boost keep going this way just look good in combos also go like this between the legs turn around i just be using it a lot when i combo up like let's say i'm comboing up right here right boom 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 this is look good also doing back to back like that so i know it might seem confusing and all if you look at it but what it really is is just the combos that i just showed y'all and just learn how to put them together and add different moves into them whenever you feel like like just make it up on the spot do a little behind the back oh i ain't even teach you how to do it behind the back yet did i no behind the back you hold turbo you flick let's say the ball in your left hand you flick your right stick diagonal down right so down here and your left stick diagonal up left no up right it's like that right so let's say the ball is over here i hold turbo Right stick goes diagonal down, right, and left stick goes diagonal up, left. It's the same the other way, it's just the uh, opposite way you want to flick them to. So right stick goes diagonal down, left, while the left stick goes diagonal up, left. Wait. Out of the, behind the back, you can do a bunch of stuff like, let's say you just combo up, right? Do a little momentum behind the back. Then you can momentum behind the back and then snatch it back like this. The way you snatch it back is you just flick this right stick to the opposite ball handle diagonal up. So let's say I'm doing it right here. Boom. You see that? Then you can also do like this. Saw that right there? want to flick your right, uh, your right stick down like this let me show y'all something real quick I'm gonna just show y'all this because I can't pass fake inside of the um, personal workout so I started the 3v3 real quick to pass fake all you do is you see these two right here triangle and circle tap them at the same time Alright, so that's gonna be it for the video today. I'm gonna give y'all a little tip though. Plug in your controller to your PlayStation, it's gonna remove delay. Make sure you're connected to your uh, router or Wi Fi, whatever it's called, with an Ethernet cable. I think that's what it's called, right? A LAN cable. It's gonna give you less delay as well, like, it's just gonna help you a lot when you chain up. Again, I'm sorry if I don't sound in the best mood, if I just sound like tired or something. I'm really sick right now, like I have a 39 in fever, but I just did this to get the video out for y'all, so y'all bear with me for not having the best energy this video. But I appreciate y'all for making it to the end. It would mean a lot to me if you could drop a sub for me, because as I said in the beginning, I'm trying to hit this 10k, I'm trying to uh, grow up, I'm trying to get bigger on this, feel me? So... Every sub is appreciated. Drop a comment for me. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Drop a like for me. I don't know what else. Like, follow my socials on the left. I'm so sick. I can't even think right now. So, I think that's just going to be it for me today. I appreciate everybody for watching. I love y'all. Right, I'm out.